several of your novels are available as audio downloads. Uh, Surface Detail, for instance, was mm. available on the day of publication as an audio download. Um, how does this make you feel? I mean, you once said you're breathless at the, at the pace of technology. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I think it's, uh, that's a, just a general remark, mind you. I mean, so on the other hand, if you're a science fiction writer or even a science fiction reader, you're also very impatient for, you know, to get better. I think we're, we're all kind of left uh, amazed at the way that the, the net and the web has, uh, has developed so incredibly quickly. Uh, and the way you know, commercial empires and fortunes have been made in the course of a few years. And I think how quickly things can fall away as well. Um, but I think, uh, you know, we're st as so many uh, SF fans and readers and writers have lamented over the years, you know, where's our jetpacks, where's our moon base, where's our Mars base, and all that stuff. Um, but I think in terms of the, the way that writing's changed, I mean, the biggest real change, I think, is it's not really sort of... Uh, um, you know, audio editions. Uh, it's more the digital, digitalization of books themselves. And it's, I think the e-book and the Kindle and so on are uh, much more uh, sort of uh, fundamental, uh, you know, sort of potential um, loci of, of change uh, than, than simply you know, uh, audio books. The thing about an audio book is that it, it kind of widens the market in the sense that people can listen to a book and while they're driving. You can't really do that. You can't read and drive. Try that crash every time. Um, so an audio book kind of increases things a bit. And whether it's downloaded or whether it appears, it used to, it used to be on uh, cassettes and it kind of had to be um, abridged. Nowadays you can have, you know, 10 CD uh, box sets with every single blinking word there, you know. Hmm. Never read by me, I hasten to add, because I... I stumble and fall and get me words wrong and get very mixed up and um, so do you, do you think the Kindle and the, the e-books signal the demise of the book I don't think it demise I think it's, things are going to change I mean uh, the thing is no sort of technological uh, change ever necessarily uh, signals the end of the, the, the earlier version uh, I mean people still paint paintings and people still buy paintings in a flourishing art market you know even though the camera came along and produced a much better way of recording you know scenes in front of you uh, in the same way you know people uh, uh, know we still take photographs we still have the theater you know we still have um, people still go to the theater and write plays even though the, the cinema came along and again made it sort of you know, mm. more efficient watching watching stuff on, a st on what appears to be a stage, whatever. Um, so I don't think any of these things necessarily mean the end of the, the earlier version. Uh, and I think, personally, I, I just like books. I like the feel of books. Mm. I like, I like having the books. I suppose it means that there might be some things that are suited to books and some things that are suited to electronic delivery in some way. I guess so. I mean, the obvious one, in a way, is... is uh, I think where publishers are feeling the greatest, uh, you know, sort of heart is in um, reference books because it's so much easier to do that stuff and to keep it right up to date as well, mm. um, you know, on, on the web. Um, with novels, it's, it's kind of different. Um, you still will, to some extent, the traditional model, business model, will, will suffer because of the, the digitalization of, uh, of, of print, you know. And I think a lot of publishers are scared stiff and look what's happened to the music industry, mm. you know, the digitalization of, uh, of music. Um, but I don't think it has to be that terrible. I think the way to look at it, you know, I mean, it's such a, a cliche, but it's true to look at it as a, uh, you know, an opportunity rather than a, as a threat. Mm. Um, but it does require some pretty fancy footwork on behalf of publishers, and they're not traditionally not really been that sort of uh, fast or quick moving because they haven't yeah. had to be because you know such a long time between a, you know, for a book to get written, a book to be you know printed and then finally published and so on. Uh, it's a relatively slow moving, you know, fairly slow moving you know, sort of business. Mm. So, yeah, they need to sort of, um, and they, I think they are, to you know, be fair, they are trying. One publisher has had a, been on the second version of the app, you know, the, the iPhone right. app for, uh, first for my early novel transition, now for this new one, Surface Detail. Uh, and it's gradually going to expand to include, you know, pretty much all the novels. Uh, both science fiction and, and mainstream. That's the plan at the moment. I mean, it wouldn't be beyond the bounds of possibility for it to be two separate apps, one science fiction, one mainstream, whatever. You know, but they're obviously they're trying their best to, to move with the times and uh, you just got to see, you know, the proof will, we'll see what, how it works out. You know. <laughs>